There is a new COVID booster headed to pharmacies around the country. It is designed to fight the Omicron variants responsible for the most COVID cases in recent months. Here to break it down, Dr. Celine Gounder, editor-at-large for Kaiser Health News and a CBS News contributor. Dr. Gounder, good morning. Good to see you. Uh, Nate is back with us because he has some questions for you, Dr. Gounder. I do, Dr. Gounder. It's good to see you. Um, now, for people whose last COVID shot was a while ago, maybe even last year, is this the booster update that they've been waiting for? Big picture, if you are 12 and up uh, and you have received your primary series, you might have even been boosted. If you're 12 and up, you are eligible for an updated Omicron vaccine. I would make that advice a little bit more nuanced for people who want a slightly more tailored approach. So if you are 50 and up, if you are immunocompromised, you should get that Omicron booster as soon as possible. If you're under 50, if you're healthier, the real benefit of getting that Omicron booster is not so much protecting yourself or keeping yourself out of the hospital, but rather to protect other people. And so if you are planning to see perhaps older family members, other people with medical conditions over the holidays, you might want to delay getting that booster until two to four weeks prior to the holidays. But again, everybody 12 and up is eligible for an Omicron booster right now. Okay, so speaking of uh, delaying uh, getting the booster, I recently had COVID. I'm okay now uh, for everybody who's wondering, uh, but I I'm vaccinated, I'm boosted. So should I wait and how long should I wait if I'm going to get the Omicron booster or should I get it at all? The, the way the FDA and the CDC have recommended, have authorized uh, the Omicron boosters, they are saying two months delay between either a vaccination or an infection. But if you actually look at the immunological uh, basic science studies, it's really three months or more. So the advice I would be giving my patients in the hospital is wait three months from your last case of COVID, your last infection, or three months from your last COVID vaccination before getting the Omicron booster. You want, we want that time so that the booster actually takes and works for you. Should you okay. stick with the same brand? Like if you've been getting Pfizer all the time, should you switch to Moderna to get this booster and vice versa? It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, just think of these as interchangeable. They're both mRNA vaccines for COVID. They work very similarly. Okay, and can you get the flu and COVID booster at the same time? Because it's flu season. I'm debating, should I get the flu shot too? You can. You can get both at the same time. You might be more likely to have a fever, chills. You can take some Tylenol to mm -hmm. deal with those side effects. But if you can wait a little bit to get that flu shot, it may be better to wait until October or so because flu season doesn't hit until okay. a bit later. All right. Good advice. Always good to have you here.